Hello everyone, it's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and today I'm not coming right back at you with another spectacular vehicle, but I'm coming right back at you with two, that's right, two spectacular custom vintage go-karts that are both powered by MC92 engines. You gotta check these out. To start off this uh, video here, this is a non-rehearsed video. There's gonna be some information that I'm sure to forget, so please visit our website at msclassiccars.com for a complete description with tons of highly detailed photos. If you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars over all these years that we've been in business, please note that I only collect number one and number two condition show quality vehicles. We're very, very proud of that. We are the only classic car dealership in the country to service every vehicle that we sell, which is documented with an invoice. So with these go-karts here, we did run both of these vehicles into our service department. We went through them and we are in this video going to show you a driving video of both of these, which we just did today. Once they are done in our service department, just like our vehicles, we detail them to the highest level, and then of course do these amazing presentations. So with that being said, uh, I do wanna make a note that we specialize not only in vehicles, motorcycles, like those two spectacular 1966 Honda CA77 Dream Touring 305s that we just recently sold, but we've also done dirt bikes, we've done mini bikes, we've done pedal cars, just check out our website and you'll see everything on our other items page. So I've never had a go-kart, uh, always have wanted one. Uh, they've been really big on Bring a Trailer, which is where these are selling. These are selling on Bring a Trailer as a pair with no reserve. So again, Bring a Trailer, no reserve, high bid is going to win. Uh, I was actually looking at that wooden horse over there. That's a 1940s all wooden riding horse. Uh, it's an absolutely beautiful restoration, fell in love with it. And the company that actually had the horse also had a neon sign that's over there as well that I fell in love with. We were kind of doing a package deal. Somehow in conversation, uh, these go-karts came up. They mentioned that they had them. Of course, once I saw the pictures, I fell in love and I purchased them both. So that's kind of the story of how I acquired them. They didn't really have a lot of detailed information, but what from I've gathered, um, these were done somewhere in around 2014, uh, and they were used as display pieces. So I never really saw them run. Again, if you look at most go-kart listings, as beautiful as they are, you don't really hear them run. You don't really see people driving them. That's what we like to do here at MS Classic Cars. Again, is service them, make sure they function. Although uh, these are definitely uh, go-karts that I would not recommend for everybody. Uh, these are very high powered machines. From what I've gathered, 50, 60 miles an hour and so forth. They're not super easy to start. We did convert them to the prank uh, pull and so forth. And again, you'll see us driving them in the video, but I just wanna make sure that I'm very clear with everybody that these are great display pieces. Uh, they can be driven, they can be raced, uh, but again, you gotta make sure you understand what they are before making your purchase. Uh, so let's do this. Uh, I'll have you come a little bit closer here. And what I'm gonna do is I am gonna just walk around each one. I am by no means an expert 
in go-karts. This is the first set of go-karts I've ever owned. I would like to give a huge uh, shout out uh, to go-kart alley, uh, Dennis, who owns the company, uh, Dennis Van Vliet. He actually provided me a ton of great information. Uh, if you don't know who he is or his company, please check them out. Just Google go-kart alley and you'll find them. Uh, but again, learned a lot from him, learned a lot researching these, and uh, these are really cool pieces. Definitely uh, one of a kind designs. So let's get into the details here of this purple one. I'm gonna to refer to it as the purple one in my description and everything else. You will see that the entire chassis, everything has been painted purple. It's got this beautiful uh, eight that's been painted on here. It's got a little bit of this uh, leafing, this silver leafing here. I think they use some great colors with the number eight. I'm gonna reference this piece here as the front shield. Um, you'll notice that it has a really nice uh, three-spoke chrome steering wheel with a black wrap. Uh, it's got this really nice upholstery. This is brand spanking new upholstery. Definitely padded very well on the sides, the back uh, in your front section there. It does have a rubber foot pad uh, down below. The front tires are actually vintage speed 50th anniversary. They're 11 by 3.5-5. These tires are brand new, they're never used. Keep in mind, these are very hard tires. They can be a little bit slippery. Uh, tires you definitely need to get hot and uh, drive on a unique surface to make sure you get your best traction. The rear tires here uh, as well, those are Xing Shin. They're 4.10 by 3. 0.50-5. Again, they have aluminum wheels. The aluminum wheels say 30 pounds pressure uh, on each one. Uh, these wheels are in actually really, really nice condition. Again, vintage styling here with these tires and these aluminum uh, wheels. Also, talking a little bit about the engine. This is really the heart uh, as it is with every vehicle. Uh, this is what it's all about. This is a very a desirable, very collectible engine. It's a McCulloch Corporation MC92. It's a two-stroke engine. These produce a lot of power. This particular one, in case anybody wants me to reference it, the model number is 400165D. That's D as in David. The serial number is 15-16610. Again, this is an authentic MC92 uh, engine. It has uh, a lot of accessories and so forth on here that you'll see. Uh, the first thing I'd like to mention is the Tillotson uh, HL304WXA carburetor. These carburetors from my research were designed by team uh, at the uh, EC carburetors. They're kind of a racing carb. You'll notice this little screens here. We've got this little item in here to keep the dirt out and so forth, uh, but this is a really unique setup. And you'll notice this really uh, unique uh, exhaust on there as well. Again, a really cool motor. You can look up these motors online, uh, check eBay and so forth, or some other sources, and you'll find that the engines that need full rebuilding, uh, ones that are in parts and pieces and everything else, are being advertised from $1,500, I've seen them as high as $3,000 for these engines. So these engines in themselves are very, very valuable. Um, again, you gotta do your homework on that. As I mentioned earlier, we converted this to a pull start uh, just for easier starting purposes. There's a bunch of different ways that people start these. Once they start and they're running, you know, they're meant to uh, uh, produce high RPM all the time, you know, track racing and so forth. Um, it does have a max torque uh, clutch. Of course, this is a live uh, axle down here. It also has a rear disc brake that you can see here as well. It also has a red sprocket that you can see when you come on the other side over here. Uh, but again, this is an absolutely beautiful condition. And last but not least in the front here, we do have a Lucky 7 Power Sports Aluminum uh, fabricated gas tank, which is actually right here uh, again. So we believe that this particular go-kart here uh, is a Manico American Express. That's what we think it is um, from the 1970s. Um, they actually sold uh, their uh, go-karts to Sears. Sears used to reference them as the orange crate. Um, so again, this one here we believe is 
and a Manico uh, American Express. So again, very special. Uh, so let's move on to the yellow one. I love how they complement each other, the purple, the yellow, yellow, purple, it just really matches well. Um, and again, you will notice with this one here that they are very similar in many ways. So let's start off by saying uh, this one here will reference as the yellow. Uh, this is actually a completely yellow frame. What's unique about this frame uh, from the research that we've done is actually this piece back here. If you actually look at this piece of the frame, how it goes upwards uh, from all the research I've done uh, with this style go-kart, this tends to be a pretty rare piece, and I think it's a very early piece. Um, again, the front shield was painted yellow as well, in beautiful condition. They painted the letters here, 33, added some vintage stickers uh, just to make it look error correct. And again, you will notice not only is it yellow, but it also has black pinstriping. They did a beautiful job, all hand pinstriped. Uh, they really gave it uh, a great look. And just like the other one, it has the same style chrome three-spoke steering wheel with the black wrap. You will see that. You'll see all new upholstery. Now this upholstery here is padded like the other one was, um, but you'll notice this one has buttons uh, that give it a little bit of that vintage styling. But again, this is all new. It's in beautiful condition. This one uh, has a plastic fuel tank, which is actually mounted uh, to the back of the seat. Um, it also has an aluminum uh, foot tray down there, a little bit different than the purple one. Uh, the front tires and the rear tires are Xing Shin. They're 4.10, again, 3.50-5. Again, that's front and back. You'll notice how the wheels are black, uh, and they do have yellow pinstriping, which I thought was a great touch. Again, these tires are hard, just like the purple ones. Again, so you got to be very, very careful when you're driving them. Uh, let's get to the heart of this go-kart. We have a matching to the purple one, uh, McCulloch Corporation MC92. Again, two-stroke engine uh, for the people who care. Same model number as the purple one, 40016-5D, as in David. Serial number 15-19087. Those numbers are actually on this little tag right here. Again, it's painted yellow. It's in great condition. Again, pull start that we added in service. This carburetor is the same carburetor on the other one, the Tillerson HL304WXA. Uh, again, designed by the team at EC Carburetors. Again, that is a racing carburetor, the same cover as the other one. This ball's in here to keep it clean. Again, it's got the red sprocket, it's got the live axle, it's got the disc brake. Uh, just absolutely a beautiful machine. Um, the Max Torx clutch uh, and so forth. So that kind of wraps up uh, the story of these two go-karts that I'm very proud of. I, I haven't seen uh, anybody, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I don't think it's the case where they've actually listed two go-karts at the same time uh, in a no reserve auction. I just think for anybody who's gonna buy one of these, a lot of times if you get your friends and your family together, everybody has to use one car and then it just gets a little bit old. Uh, so having the two of these together, uh, that really is the ultimate package. Now you can have one, have another, and just have a lot more fun. Uh, so I think it's going to be uh, epic to watch both of these sell. So as I mentioned in the uh, video earlier today, actually before we did this video, we just got these back. We took them to our service department, which is literally a quarter mile down the street. Uh, our shop foreman actually started both of them. He made a couple of passes. We're gonna introduce that now. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that and check these out.
now that we watched uh, that video of us drive, pretty fun. As I mentioned, they're pretty powerful, they're loud. Uh, definitely want to make sure that you uh, get a lot of practice before you start driving these things aggressively. Uh, so I want to make sure if you have not signed up for our VIP email blast, please do that at msclassiccars.com. We have thousands of people that follow us. We also would ask that you follow us on all the social media platforms. We're on everything. And again, I'll say it over and over, MS Classic Cars is a very small company. As an example, there's the only things that we have that are available at this moment are the vehicles that are behind me. We just got back from an auction where we sold a bunch of vehicles. We're constantly getting in fresh inventory. It doesn't last like these go-karts being sold at no reserve or like those motorcycles that we just listed and just sold. Uh, we really turn our inventory because people understand what we do and how we do it. Uh, so the reputation is definitely caught up to the business. This is a great opportunity. We appreciate you watching. Uh, thanks again and good luck. Bring a trailer, no reserve. If you're not registered, make sure you register to bid. These belong in your collection. Thanks again. Rock and roll.